Hello everybody and good evening. Last n my name is Sora Darchild and welcome back to Let's Play Blue Fire. Last time we just made it to this town and spent the whole episode looking about this place. And we encountered a guy that was selling souls and also a pouch that I still can't afford at the moment. However, I was able to save up enough money to see if I can equip some uh, spirits. And the ones I equipped it at the moment is Possessed Book, which allows us to uh, perform a spin attack after dashing, increase the spin attack height, and also Golden Lust, which allows us to get more money, doubles the amount. Hopefully we'll get more room to equip more spirits and also more spirits as well as we continue onward. Now, if I remember right, up this ladder was another uh, lever that I did not activate in the last episode. We're gonna go activate it now. like we're able to go in there. In we go! I wonder what awaits us in here. Something tells me I'm inside a dungeon. I'm in a forest-themed dungeon. Fierce warrior who traveled swiftly through the endless night, you have come. Alas, the corruption has already spread throughout my temple, and my power is dim. Warrior of the Night. Inside my temple is a powerful gauntlet. One I crafted myself a long time ago. In this time of despair as shadow surrounds my last breath, I ask you, warrior, make headway deep into my grotto. Find the claws and with its power, destroy the shadows, overpowering my soul. Okay then. This ought to be interesting traversing this dungeon. That spell will do the trick on them. A ruby ore. Nice. the other side first before I activate that switch. I'm just curious, can we swim? Oh. No, we cannot swim.
So, that satisfied my curiosity. Let's continue exploring before I activate that switch. Excuse me. Hey there! Okay, so I have to, to do that other switch, because there's no way I'll be able to jump dash my way across that water. Water levels, huh? And I don't mean like the place is actually a water level, I mean water levels like high, low, center. I spy a treasure chest. Two treasure chests. Ruby ore, and what's in the other one? An old key. Okay. Also, a side note that uh, I should probably mention off screen while I was uh, grinding my money. To get some of these uh, souls that may or may not be helpful in this dungeon, the uh, the game crashed a few times. I just thought I'd bring that up. I'm not complaining or anything. I just thought I'd bring up the issue. Oh wow, you do a lot of damage. Okay, the levels have been lowered. Going down. Don't mind me, just passing through. Gained everything. I need to replenish uh, my magic and health. If I can find some fire essence, that'd be nice. Let's see. What's in the other direction? Nope, don't mind me, just passing through. What's 
down that hole. Ouch. That was an emergency, so I need to watch it from here on. Please give me a fire essence. No fire essence there. Okay, down the hole. There we go, there's some fire essence. Now I feel like I need to work my way up to that switch. Wrong button. Okay, that opens the way over there. Okay, so I had to... Do I still have that key? I probably do. Yeah, I still got it. Another ruby ore. Come on, give me another fire essence. I need one so I can heal. Well. I guess I got no choice. Okay, you first. For defeating them, we get another key. And we only get one, so we need to pick carefully for which of these two doors I want to open. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Oh, we can't open that one because we don't have the key for that door. So, across the way then. Now, what danger awaits us in here? Two nights. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances with close combat for that one. Not when I'm at full low health. A holy key. Okay. Instead of an old key, we get a holy key. That's an interesting new one. Oh, please let there be fire essence in here.
Perhaps I could really use some right now. Not a single one of them hold that? Seriously? Okay, what's in here? Nuos's claws. An ancient set of claws crafted by Nuos himself. They're said to give the carrier the ability to walk and jump on walls. Ooh, that'd be useful. Okay, to run wall, wall running and wall jumping. Jump against wall and press B while running. Okay, let's find a place to test them out. so I need to be careful from here on. Okay, let's try wall jumping in here. Might be easier with a narrow space. And that was easy. But it looks like there's a stamina bar for that. That might be a problem. For me, anyway. I just got myself a spirit to collect. That wasn't too high up. Don't give me that baloney. There's no way I'm gonna be able to survive that without healing. I wanna go back and see if I can wall run over there. Fire Essence! Finally! Thank you! Just what I needed! Took me long enough to find it. What are you? Forest Guardian, a Himu descendant of Naos, Nuos. These guardians were said to protect the forest from other creatures. Interesting. Maybe I should put that on. This was like a good place to practice wall running. This is gonna take me a while to get used to for a new ability. And so long as I don't do anything dumb, we should be fine. I don't like that I'm losing two hearts. Oh well. Maybe I should get out of here, put on that new uh, spirit we just found, then come back. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Huh. 
maybe buy one of whatever other items we can buy now that we're at the maximum amount of money. was a mistake. First, hit the shop. What can we buy that's new? If there's anything new. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. Still can't afford the pouch. Known for its medical purposes, used for easing any type of pain. I feel like that might be useful. <clears throat> Too bad I can't afford the large pouch at the moment. <clears throat> I still have five, four out of five of the uh, books he wants me to find. Maybe with this new claw ability, we'll be able to find it. If lucky. First things first, let's equip that new uh, spirit I need. Probably. if I take damage there. us any good. I also need to replenish my uh, my uh, mana. Can't do that. Okay, then I'll just save. Curious if there's anything new we can, uh, anything new we can do now, now that we got the, uh, claw. Though I don't want to risk it because, I don't know, maybe I might be mistaken for something. head back to the temple and see where I can continue from there. <laughs> Still gotta do that wall running thing. saves me from fall damage if I'm lucky. There we go. Need to recharge my magic anyway. Drop 
being the water level again. down. Oh. Whoops, that was water. Wonder. This is so gonna be suicide for me if I'm do- if I'm thinking about it. All that damage for a ruby ore? Okay. Oh. Hey there! And there's a void here. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Interesting. Wall jumping. For some reason, with his grunts, does he sound like Gollum to you from Lord of the Rings? That's a first, finding a treasure chest in here. Void ore. because I accidentally pressed the left trigger button. Yeah, he sounds a little bit like Gollum when he does that. Now for that mistake, I would have gotten that first try. I hope that healed us. too far away. Oh boy, this is going to be a hard one. Well, 
Well done. Buy more cloaks as I'm doing this uh, with all that money. Can't afford to carry any more of those at the moment. And I feel like I need to take out every enemy in this room. Ground. Replenish my magic. Ooh, that didn't fill it up all the way. Now then. What's in that chest over there? Ooh, silver blades. Beautiful blades made from holy steel. It is said the Elder crafted such swords during the fall of Penumbra. work too. And it looks like it opens that door. Now, how do I get over there? I don't see any way for us to get up there. Too late to figure it out. Now that I pretty much know what we're doing. Whoa, wait a minute, huh? Our money, it's going past 2,500. They didn't normally do that when I collected money, so why is it going above 2,500 now? I don't remember getting a bigger bag allowing me to do that. Oh! 
darn it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get back in time. I know what I'm doing now. Took me a bit to figure it out. But we got it. Oh wait, forgot to flip the switch. So very close there. Now I gotta wait for time to run out before I try again. Or I can just hit the switch and try again. What the hell was that? It was the wrong direction. There we go. Any fire essence in these? I was.
was hoping there would be one in there. is this one. Hello. Ooh, hello. I'll have to try to get to that later. Now. How am I supposed... Oh, hello. I thought I was going to have to find a way to get in there. key. Now for the hard part. Working my way back over there. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Still don't like how I fall even after doing the dash hoping to cancel that de fall damage. Any fire essence in any of these jars? Please? No? Okay. Okay, I can go up to 2,999. That's a bit of a step up. What's in that chest? Both this one and the one that I just did from the emo. Another holy key. Okay. Now what about the other one? Let's head back over and find out. If I can. I'm glad there was no water there. for a fire essence, not money. Oh well. Oh. What? What the heck was that? <laughs> what the hell? is going on. The ground is solid. But for some reason, when I get to the top of that ladder, I die like I'm in water. Oh. How is that possible? That shouldn't be possible. That's not cool. It looks like the water just it comes back by itself. How the hell is it that? I drained all the water. So it shouldn't do that. That's just ticking me off now. I'm gonna die for no reason. I mean, what's making it do that? 
This better not be a glitch. And I'm hoping this isn't a boss. If it is, I am so unprepared. Yep, it's a boss. And I am very well unprepared because I am not at peak health for this. So this is not gonna be a fair fight at all. I didn't even last two seconds. Now I gotta work my way back down there. Hopefully not take too much damage. Same problem doesn't present itself. Oh wait. The water's back up. I thought I drained it all. Apple. Something tells me I might want to save that for later. What the? Did you just phase through the ladder? Okay. Is that possible? Oh, please let one of these give me a fire essence. That way I can be at peak level when I go in there. No? Not gonna do that game? please. This has got to have at least one. <laughs> Should have one. But no. Once again, into the belly of the beast. How is this boss faced? The 
I is his weak point. Heal. Had two ways of healing, but no. Yes, I got him. Just barely beat that one with the skin of my teeth. And I just went backwards, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. Fierce warrior. You're interesting looking. My name is No Nuos, God of Knowledge. I am one of the five gods, descendants of Tanara, warrior of the night. I can see now. The sacred power flows through your essence. Yet the black shadow runs through you as well. Both is consistent battle. Both in constant battle. Child of the fire. You have slain the shadow knitted my Dara's demise. West of these lands, beyond the graveyard, lies the Uthas Temple, resting place of the God of Water. Just as I have fallen to this dreadful fate, I fear the end of my may be near him too. Please, take this key. It holds the power to open a Ethos Temple. You must vanish the shadow spreading there, just as you have done here. Farewell, warrior. the key for the next dungeon and I need to get out of here and save do not want to go through that again if this was normal I hate to see how hard it is in hard mode Okay, I think that should just about do it for today's episode of Let's Play Blue Fire. When we come back, we shall try to find this... at this temple. Uthas Temple, or however you call it. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Blue Fi Let's Play Blue Fire, and would love to see more. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. 
We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archild, signing off. Have a good night, folks.